Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Um, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. So some of you are checking out of some cycle, going round and round with a particular person. Um, you're walking away or you're just emotionally checked out. It's not satisfying anymore. It's not satisfying you. You're not getting what you want. Um, it's an act of self-respect, of leaving, of uh, walking away, uh, finishing something up and then walking away. A lease, uh, an agreement, a mortgage, a business. I don't know. Finishing something up and then moving on. Um, going on to something that hopefully fulfills you or you get absolute fulfillment. Let's see what's happening for Pisces and money and the money and love money okay so five of cups you could miss out on an opportunity or there's loss loss of job um you miss out on a sale um you could be in a competitive market um this also is um you needing to listen to your inner voice when it tells you to move or make a move you need to do so this could be you pining over missing out on that sale or that opportunity um, this could even be you having to take days off of work because you were sick or out or you needed to get some things in order. This could be job loss. We've got the Knight of Cups coming in. No, the Knight of uh, Wands. So opportunity then presents itself to you again. Um, <clears throat> you need to go with it. You need to finish what you start also, especially if you are... Um, a budding entrepreneur if you're an entrepreneur if you're trying to get something off the ground you need to go with it you need to stick with it you need to do it uh, don't let it go finish what you start put yourself out there be charismatic outgoing um, shake hands tell everybody what you do um, what else do we have going on here attract the energy that you want the vibration that you want to happen what else let's see some of you you stop doing something for work. Let's see. Okay, so the moon card, feminine energy with seven of wands. So it's like, this is sex appeal or sexy or doing something in secret or at night or under the cover of. This could even read as like exotic dancer. Um, this could read as like, you know, only fans or something of that nature where you do something is under the cover of. Maybe you even have a costume or um, you keep boundaries up or um, you're standing your ground on this. Somebody wanted you to stop this or stop what you were doing, but you're standing your ground and you're going to continue doing whatever it is you do. You're going to continue working at this place or working with these people. It may have been interfering with a relationship. Okay. Um, some of you may have gotten a little too cozy with workers. So this is what fraternizing. Okay. Um, money was foggy or fuzzy um, because you didn't stand your ground. You didn't persevere through maybe a tough time or you went through some emotional phase in terms of your career or your career choice. There was uncertainty in self-employment. So you didn't know if it was certain for you or if it would bring you money. And you also didn't persevere through. You didn't fight for what you have. You kind of let it go. Or somebody wants you to let something go. Let's see what's going on in love for you. What's happening in love for Pisces. Four of Wands. So happy home, happy life. Um, it's going well. You could be with an, a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, maybe reconciliation or reunion is happening. You're going to come back together. New home, new house. Just new digs all together. Or remodeling, redecorating. Or you're going to redo something in the relationship. Uh, maybe you guys are getting out of a cycle. Let's see. Uh, that's you, the hanged man. Maybe you're coming out of a cycle. Maybe you're coming out of no energy being put into the relationship. You're going to realize why you haven't had what you really want. And you're going to start to maybe engage. You're going to let go of the thoughts of the past or the ex. Or you're going to let go of an extra marital relationship or extra relationship. Or some of you are going to let go of somebody who's keeping you a secret, a secret affair, secret love, hanging around, keeping you hanging around, waiting. What's going on in love? 
Uh, two of cups, yeah. So it was like, some of you, you're in a relationship. It's, you're going to choose to redecorate it, remodel it, redo something. You're going to just, you know, kind of usher in some newness here. Um, love, this could even be eloping. You know, just running off and getting married. Um, after a period of stagnancy, it's going to be a coming back together. You're going to heal the severed connection. Somebody is now wanting the one-on-one -on -one relationship. And then for some of you, um, it's an energy of... Um, you may have cut someone off because they were keeping you a secret, keeping things secret, not telling you the truth, had you hanging around, had you as a, maybe an option. They had a circle of people, women that they dealt with. Um, they did have a connection with you and they want to come back to you and start that connection up. They want you to forgive all, let bygones be bygones, move on, you know, um, from this. Let's get you some advice, advice for Pisces. Advice for Pisces. We got a lot of new starts. Twos, fours, um, sevens. We got uh, trying to maintain something. Yeah. And then we got new starts. And, and we also have ending. All right. Somebody wants you to end something. Or let go of something. Let's see. Yeah. Communicate clearly how you feel, what you want, what you're going to stand your ground on. Um, there will be peaceful resolution to a situation where there was, you know, argumentative or there was war. You were at war with yourself or with other people. All right. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Look up the angel number 411. Okay. I know it's, what's that stands for information, right? Or 211. I don't know. Anyway, 411, look up angel number 411. It may mean something to you. Get your own personal reading by going to the website. Um, readings are 40% I'll take advantage. You can also get um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Many blessings to you. Take care. Bye.